everyone. So I miss our painting class. I hope everyone is doing well. So for the time being, I thought, hey, we have the time, we're at home, maybe we can't paint, but we can draw. Okay, we can go over some of the basics. So one of the things that I thought I'd go over is how to draw a straight line. We've talked about that, and it's really a skill, and I think just about anybody can do it. So instead of like when you're doing a straight line, just going and just watching it, and it's like, oh, okay, and you're moving your wrist around like that, okay. We don't want to do that. First of all, we want to move our whole arm. That's going to be easier, maybe even our whole body. So if we put a dot here, that's where we're going to start. And then we come over and we put a dart on the other side of the paper. Okay, and I'm using a black magic marker. Instead of just watching what I'm doing exactly where I am, I'm going to watch where I want to go. Okay, so I've got my marker here, but I want to go here. Okay, so I am pulling my arm over, looking at that dot. I'm pretty close. Okay, so, and you know, some of us may not be able to paint in our house. Some of us may, but we can always draw. And we can practice this sort of thing. It really gives us great hand-eye coordination. Okay, you can see the second one I did was better than the first. I can put a dot here. I can put a dot there. And then I'll come over here and I will connect the dot. And again, I'm looking at where I want to go, not where I am. Okay. And the more you do this, the better you get. Now, I'm trying not to stand right in front of the, the work, but it, it helps if you're a little bit more in front so you know what you're going doing and where you are. And try to move the whole arm. So instead of just moving the wrist, move that arm. Pull it back. Okay. And practice makes perfect. So again, I'm moving up here from the shoulder. And that's helping a lot. So, and you don't need, this is just, you know, the inexpensive art paper, the um, newsprint. But, you know, if you're just playing around, you can just go ahead, get your newsprint out. And, ah, poor woman. Okay, put a dot here, put a dot here. And just go right over the newsprint. As you're sitting there, maybe watching TV, maybe not doing a whole lot. Um, and just doodling. Going back and forth. So that's fun. And as you start making these dots, which a lot of drawing is made of, is lines. You'll notice as you go, if you do it more and more, you will get better and better and start doing it. Diagonally. Okay, so that's just a fun thing to do that we can do at home. And believe it or not, it will really help our painting skills. So the other thing that I thought I would go over today is basic things, um, composition. Okay, and I've talked about that as well. And I was talking about oftentimes uh, composition, whereas... When we're doing the painting, and we want to create something that's very serene, that's very peaceful, a lot of times if we use these horizontal lines, it has a tendency to make the painting feel very, very peaceful. Then when we look out on the plane at a field or at the ocean, we will find that horizon line between the sky and the water or the sky and the fields. And that usually gives us a great feeling of peace, that tranquility. So that's one way to look at composition. Then we can also have a comp. I'm going to give you an example of that. So here is an example of a calming composition. So if you look at that, that should feel kind of calm. I don't know if she looks like she's looking over a banister, could be into the night sky, she could be looking over a boat. But it's also very pleasant. Yeah. 
when we start adding diagonal lines, we start getting a feeling of movement. So if this were flat ground and we had a person standing on here, we would think they were just kind of shuffling along. But here, if you had that same person here, they would be climbing. So to give you an indication of movement, just these are basic. Look at that. It's a very slight slope. But doesn't that have that feeling of movement? She's going someplace. Okay. Now, with that in mind, with the diagonals, we notice that things are pleasant if the diagonal is going from left to right because we read that way. So, there's nothing disconcerting about that. We usually attach that to pleasant feelings, and we call that Baroque. That would be a Baroque composition. Now, if we have a painting, and we do the composition, but the diagonal is going from right to left, sometimes that's when things are a little bit more disconcerting, a little bit troubling. It could be a storm brewing. So an example of that, is I'm going to show you, this is Vincent's. This is the way that he actually did it, and that's the Baroque composition. And here, using the computer, I turned it around, and it is the sinister composition. One of the things that I'm realizing as we're filming this, I hope that this reads well onward, that it doesn't come off backward on the film. We're going to have to watch, because as you all know, filming the lessons is something new to me, so... Um, I will continue to do as well as I can with it and keep improving. So that's just some, something to think about. Now I look forward to a Tuesday going over your projects with you. And in the meantime, I will share with you what I just finished. I had a, a commissioned portrait to do. And I used some of these things. I used the Baroque composition. Okay. So, but I also use a little bit of an arabesque composition as well. So this is a portrait, and uh, it has, like, reflection. You can see how that light reflects on it. Um, so I don't know. But here, she's a writer, and I'm trying to get it so it doesn't have all of that glare on it, but I don't know if I can or not. But as you can see, here she has her younger self. So I had some... some pictures to incorporate of when she was younger and she wanted them to kind of come in looking a little ghostly in the background doing more of that Rembrandt kind of fading but as you see it's coming up on that Baroque so I wanted that to be pleasant and of course even the steam from the coffee is coming up on that Baroque the hands coming up so it has that little circular of warmth around her so those things you know, artists always take those into consideration when they're doing their paintings. So I wanted to share that with you. Other things that I thought we'd go over is we'll learn one point perspective very slowly, a little bit at a time. Anything, of course, you want to learn. But I think it'd be great to hone up on our drawing skills because, as Van Gogh said, you know, in order to be a really good painter, you need to be someone who knows how to draw. So I look forward to seeing everyone soon. Take care. Bye-bye.